Hello, welcome guys. Um, yeah, it's again about uh, Tavern Brawl. Yesterday I already uploaded a video where I was sharing my first impression uh, about the new one, uh, Top 2. And yeah, actually it was quite a long video because I tried different things and we also already saw a lot of stuff. Uh, today I decided to make a new one. Um, just, yeah, because I think, uh, first of all, it, it was really interesting. Um, Tavern Brawl and there are so many uh, combinations uh, which we see in play and um, today on the internet I followed some discussions and um, you know people were talking about which is the best deck and in my opinion the best deck wasn't mentioned that often um, a lot of people yeah, or came up with of course quite strong um, decks gimmick deck uh, more fun decks but um, yeah in my opinion the strongest we have is the yeah, Ice Block and Fireball Mage, and uh, I will also explain you uh, why. Before I um, come to this point, um, I will shortly discuss which other uh, good uh, decks are there. There's the one with the Mana Worm and the Arcan miss Missiles, where you, yeah, first of all, you play the Mana Worms and then you buff the uh, Mana Worms with Arcan Missiles. Um, I I think it might be a bit slow in my opinion. I never tried it. I've never seen it actually. Um, then another one is with Evolve, uh, together with Biofin Tidehunter. So you get a two drop and a one drop when, when you play him and with Evolve. You can uh, really fast um, get some really uh, um, big minions out of that. Then uh, Innovate with Yogg-Saron is just more for fun, but you can also Innovate and use Yasharaj. Um, it takes a while until you get him on the board, but uh, unfortunately I don't have him, otherwise I would have tried it. But if you're lucky enough to play him really early, turn 2, turn 3, you might win. Um, then, yeah, some stuff with Doomsayer and Curse of Rafam Farm uh, for the Warlord. Yesterday we saw already the Hunter with Metal Tooth Le Leaper and Mech Whopper. Um, also Mech Whopper is used in other classes together with um, the Senjin, no, Sensei, there's some, some, um, Mech Buffin, uh, Mech Buffin Mech for the Rogue, or together with Gorilla Bot. Um, Yar, yeah, then you, the priest have Might Blast together with Novice Engineer. Uh, Warrior use Target Dummy uh, with Bolster, which is also quite interesting. Um, yeah, then you can innovate other good stuff, uh, Ragnaros, the Fire Lord. Um, other ones I have seen is in a way plus Cold Light Oracle. Um, with this deck you can get r really fast a huge board of Cold Light Oracles. You flood already the board on turn, uh, even on turn 1 you can flood it uh, a lot. Um, so usually uh, after turn 2 you should have a full board. Uh, or Oracle, called Oracle together with Naturalize, which is really good mill deck. Yeah, and against most of this, or at least um, the majority of those decks, um, the Fireball um, Mage is, is, is really good. The thing is that um, you don't play anything in the first two uh, turns. And then, um, depending if you're already, um, if your opponent is threatening uh, lethal to you, uh, you play the ice block or not. And then uh, it's just important to have a lot of ice blocks in your hand. And um, later from turn seven on, you can play still the ice block plus the uh, fireball. And yeah. The um, if if your opponent cannot heal or um, get armor, uh, you just need five uh, fireballs. So with a coin, you kill him uh, on turn eight, and uh, oh wait, no, you kill him until turn uh, nine. In the worst case scenario, that is when he when you need to play an ice block or on turn three, and he, and he can um, pop the ice block uh, in the next turn. Otherwise, you can win earlier because you can play on turn four already the fireball. If not, you play uh, always uh, every turn an ice block 
plus from turn 7 on or with a coin from turn 6 on one fireball and in the last round you play two fireballs so uh, you're against classes uh, which cannot uh, heal or armor up you win on turn 9 and you need until turn 8 um, 6 ice blocks in the worst case that you can uh, already pop the ice block on his turn 3 uh, oh wait, no, after you played your ice block on turn 3 so with coin, uh, we are talking right now about with coins so if you can pop it on his turn 4 yeah, so now we have it um, so until turn 8 you need uh, 6 ice blocks so 6 out of 12 which is uh, which seems 50-50 but you can mold again for more ice blocks, so actually the chances are a bit higher, and this is just the worst case. And with altcoin, you um, kill him on turn 10. Uh, you need seven ice blocks out of um, yeah until turn nine, which is uh, in total you get 12 cards, so seven out of 12, which is um, <clears throat> yeah also doable with a good mold again. So the chances are not that high. But this is also just the worst case scenario. And against a lot of uh, those those decks I just uh, mentioned, for example, Mana Worm, Archimedes, I'm not so sure if they already uh, able to uh, pop your ice block on turn four uh, or evolve and um, by the Finn Tide Hunter. The same with Doomsayer or Curse of Rafam. Uh, actually, in this is really easy matchup uh, because Doomsayer is not doing anything. Curse of Rafam, you just throw it away. He deals uh, 2 damage every turn with his card and uh, later on you deal uh, 6 damage with your fireballs. Um, yeah, so the, the hunter or, or, or all mech whopper um, decks are quite difficult. The ones with gorilla bot are not that difficult because they don't have something to buff. But the hunter one with the metal to sleeper, uh, there um, the chances are I think it's a bit higher than 50%, uh, and, and this is one of the strongest decks uh, we've seen. Then uh, target dummy and bolster is a bit difficult because here um, the warrior can armor up. Here it also depends how fast he can uh, pop up the ice block. Um, yeah, and due to this um, deck. There are already a few other decks which counter this, for example, Innovate plus Losap. This is a huge problem. I've never played against it right now, um, but I think I think it will be not really doable. It's uh, yeah, it will be really hard matchup. Um, then there could be um, what is it? A Whirlwind plus. Uh, armor Smith, so you can gain a lot of armor uh, as um, as a warrior. Um, yeah, so but this these two decks are not really good against other decks, and this is a good uh, thing from from this deck. It's good a lot of uh, against a lot of um, popular decks, and against those which which where it is quite weak, uh, those decks are not that strong. Um, another deck which is quite so in my opinion, uh, you don't have a chance to win against this. This is Cold Light Oracle and Inner Raid, but the Druid needs to know exactly how you play, uh, which cards at which turn, and you know you need uh, to follow an, um, a really strict strategy. And if you don't follow the strategy, you're still winning. Okay, so that's why I really think this is one of the best decks, and uh, we will try it out, and I will maybe add some. Um, yeah, more information. So basically, if you have, um, if you play your ice block on turn three and he can pop it on the next turn, then in that case, um, yeah, you, you if you think about it, uh, you don't gain, you don't gain um, more cards. So you have to deal with those cards that you get. And then uh, you have to um, play one ice block every turn. Um, but sooner or later, the ice blocks uh, will be substituted by the fireballs because you play them 
whole, the, the, the whole time. And um, so you can say the cards you have um, after playing the first ice block and drawing for the first time. This other one, uh, which will you can use for fireballs, and this is the damage you will have uh, together with a, a bit of um, yeah with the ping. So there you can also calculate, um, especially if you play against the warrior. Here we don't need to calculate; we just need to uh, survive long enough. Um, that's what why I tried to get as many ice blocks as possible because eventually we will draw into the fireballs and if we are uh, in the late game already and we don't get um, a fireball it doesn't matter because then it would mean we get an ice block and we will soon survive another turn so now he's filling the board with all the mechs I don't know if he's playing the gorilla or he's just playing the iron sensei Come close and listen. Come close and listen. So these guys are doing 12 plus above uh, 18 damage. So next turn they won't pop my ice block. So yeah. I think it looks pretty good because, yeah, as I said, he can't pop the ice block, we can get another card. And, um, I said to 9, we can kill him at the, yeah, at the latest. But this time we can also already play the fireball on 24, so we can win earlier. The only way he can win is that um, if he pops the ice block really soon, and I'm running out of ice blocks really soon. But this is not the case. It's only the um, the hunter um, because of the buff from the um, leopard, uh, no metal tooth leaper is so strong. Here and since those mech decks are quite common and even against the hunter one uh, we have good chance to win. That's why I think this is really one of the strongest decks. There are other ideas that instead of fireballs you take molten giants. Um, so now I could play um, three molten giants but I don't think it's that good. Um, because if you have a board like this, he can even deal with it. And he's playing just minions, means um, and I more or less only uh, every second card of mine is, is a minion, so he would have an advantage. So yeah, that's it. Um, turn seven, ice block, fireball, and then turn eight, two fireballs. But most time people don't uh, see that they are still going on and hoping that I... Yeah, I don't know what, what they are hoping for. So if I play the ice block now, it, it's clear. Because in this moment, if I wouldn't have a fireball and he would survive longer, uh, it wouldn't matter because I have, I have ice blocks. see different kind of deck Jane. I will 
Jane here. Oh, this might be a mirror match, and I haven't had anyone yet. I think it makes sense to. What makes sense? I should pop the icebox as soon as possible. Should I go for fireballs? But I don't, also don't want to run out of icebox later. I think it's really just a matter who is running out of ice blocks uh, first. But on the other hand, it also makes sense to, yeah, to pop the ice block as soon as possible. Sorry, this will be a really interesting matchup. It's the first time I have this matchup here. And I should try to ping as often as possible. Uh, to ping at least five times. Um, so I can bring down exactly to one health. Um, yeah, so that even if I'm running out of fireballs, I can continue popping the ice block. I think next turn I will play Ice Block and Ping. Or... The other end, the Fireballs late, later are... Really not that interesting. I just want to ensure that uh, I, I can pop it every turn. And that's why I think that the pinging is really important. I have pinged him twice so far. I need to do it three more times. But I have... I can do it from next turn on, yeah. Okay, so. The good thing is, um, I didn't have the coin. So if we really manage to yeah, get a lot of ice blocks um, or go until the end, in that case, I will win my fatigue. He's going to pop the ice blocks this turn. So I should definitely I wonder. do it next turn as well. No, 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 I have to. It's good that I get another fireball here. I really need more fireballs because it's really important um, to bring in down soon so I can um, ping M turn. If he runs out of ice box here and cannot um, pop it for one turn, 
It's pretty bad for him. So and that's why I also ping him first and pop the ice block in any case. So it seems he has a lot of ice blocks, which is good for him. On the other hand, yeah. On the other hand, this ice block has survived already a lot of times. A few turns. So one thing, uh, this, this might go until fatigue. Um, but I guess it won't, just because we we are now at the uh, situation where we can pop the ice block every turn, and yeah, fireballs are useless. Um, just ice blocks are counting now. So yeah, the fatigue then doesn't matter ma doesn't matter as much as I thought. Then actually the, the coin is better because you get more cards. You might have more chance to get ice blocks. But it's, yeah, it's still difficult in the beginning. You also need fireballs to to bring them down uh, soon early. Bring him down soon early. Okay, that was not correct. Yeah, actually, my idea was actually to show how good this deck is and to show match uh, to play um, matchups where this is really good. But it might be also really interesting to see how this is working in the mirror match. It's a, it's a bit boring. So this is one um, disadvantage of the stack, uh, it's always the same, with most decks it's, yeah, it's more or less the same, but it also takes a while, it's not, um, yeah, with the Make Whopper Hunter, if you win, you win on turn 3 or 4, here we are already half through our decks, I would appreciate more ice blocks, Oh, okay, so this is just RNG right now. You can influence a little bit in the beginning. So the mixture of, um, yeah, on the other hand, one hand keeping ice blocks, um, but also to, to pop the ice block from your opponent as soon as possible. So, because I was talking, I didn't pay attention to what he was playing and uh, didn't watch uh, which card he played, and, and so he still has one. Wow. Five cards. Could be also fireballs on though. Ah, uh, but he picked this one. Maybe this one was a fireball and this was the last ice block in his hand. But first of all, I need, need to draw one on my own. Um, it's happening. 
You maybe already know that I'm just top decking here. He's waiting quite long. Oh, come on. So I don't think we will draw another one. I don't think so. Whoa. Okay, so we might be lucky. His second last card was an ice block. Maybe his last one was finally a fireball in this one as well. We still, we still are lucky. <laughs> okay. I think we had a time where we were drawing a lot of uh, ice blocks, but this were five in a row or so. Come on. Oh, he still left, but I think it was the last one, right? Fireball. I, I will have to check the video later to figure out how many ice blocks we we just draw in a row. So give up, please. Yes, finally. <coughs> okay, so one final game. I don't want to make the video too um, too long. Going first again means we have less cards. Mm. I wonder if I should keep more ice blocks. They're really important later. But it's so important to pop his ice blocks as well. So I, I it just my guess that um, the mixture is. Uh, the right thing here. Uh, maybe you play against someone else. Oh, yeah, I, I forgot to mention that this version, uh, Ice Block Fireball, this is a similar one with uh, Ice Block and Forgotten Torch, um, has some advantages. It helps you. Uh, against fatigue matches so I mentioned the innervate no uh, naturalize cold like light one this one you can win with it maybe I, I didn't the problem is uh, your fireballs are not that strong um, the forgotten torch deal doesn't deal so much damage uh, as fireballs do. So as long as he doesn't play any fireballs, I oh shit. I think it was, was a mistake to um, ping there. Um, maybe I'm not sure. It, it's quite tricky. Yeah, I said we uh, this would be the last one, but since it was just a mirror matchup and um, it was quite short, uh, I will. Yeah, play another one. Jaina versus so my foreign is a bit more interesting, so as you can armor up. You asked for it. 
so we also take as many ice blocks as possible. If this one is in a way low step, we have uh, a really serious problem, but uh, would be also maybe interesting to see why this is a good counter and how that works. Yeah, so here I also try to get as many ice blocks as possible because we need to survive. Okay. That doesn't seem so scary. Yeah, that's way too slow. Um, I've heard also heard about this stone cusp bar, also this Yashara, um, Mark of Yasharaj. Um, this deals six damage this turn, so I'm super far away from. Um, yeah, from lethal, from dying. If I would be him, I would hero power. Just to get some more chance that I need one fireball more. And this is the only way I can lose now that I'm running out of ice blocks. But this won't be the case. I think four ice blocks. Uh, no, wait. Four fireballs will kill him. Uh, from turn 7 on. Yeah, this is safe. Next turn we can fire ball and ice block. I guess he is just doing this for fun to make one super big, but um, it's irrelevant. turn on I can also ice block fireball plus ping so the armor he gets um, can ping easily um, so I keep him below 12 yeah but if I draw another fireball next turn it's over already. and yeah I have so many ice blocks that's it Okay, so far so good. Yeah, so, um, um, yeah, my conclusion, I hope um, I could give you a good idea why this deck is so strong. Um, the, yeah, to summarize it, I think it's um, 
it's has um I guess uh, oh, sorry sorry again please um so it has against uh, almost all um, common decks really good uh, chance to win in some uh, situations it's, it's really good uh, especially if you have some really slow one uh, next like we just saw or if, if they I don't know so if they will take a while until they can pop your first ice block you have a chance to gather a lot of ice blocks so you can um, survive every turn and then play your fireballs. Um, at the beginning of the video I was explaining you uh, in the worst case situation um, yeah, would be without coin he pops the ice block uh, on, her, uh, on turn 3 already so um, until turn 9 it's in total 12 cards you need 7 ice blocks uh, but you can mulligan game before so this is really the worst case and the chances there are at least 50 50 and then there are a few decks which are um, yeah can beat this quite um, yeah, always or reliable um, but they are not so good against other decks and therefore they, you don't see them so much in play problem is a bit it takes a little longer um, because it always goes until turn 9 or 10 if your opponent doesn't concede earlier um, but the win rate um, is actually quite good. So if this one doesn't get too popular and um, people will and, and other decks which counts as really good become good because this is so popular um, this one is going to be uh, yeah staying you know it's good will be <laughs> one of the best decks or in my opinion it's the best deck right now you can have yeah so I hope I could give you some uh, insight on that um, why I think this is the case and um, you also saw some gameplay also how to play against uh, mirror um, matches it's yeah really luck dependent but okay so I hope you uh, enjoyed the video and then we will see us yeah in one of my um, future arena runs or another tavern brawl so until then, and play. Uh, enjoy playing Hearthstone.